Riley Kane here today. Going to be doing another quick video. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded uh, super recently. I actually had a video that I was going to be uploading, uh, but the content be, or the, um, the video became corrupted, so it was completely useless. I couldn't even upload it. Uh, I was making a cutting board with the people from you and me. Uh, so if you want to see that, I'm going to put the link down in the comments to go watch that video because they actually recorded it as well. So you can watch it and kind of see how the process goes. It's pretty cool. I wish I would have been able to upload it, but I wasn't able to, so it is what it is. As you guys see in the description, or the, com uh, the name of the video today, we are doing a review on the wireless uh, the battery operated brushless um, belt sander. I do not have a wired belt sander or uh, plug-in belt sander, however you want to say it. I don't have one, never had one. Um, used them before in like woods class and stuff like that. Uh, my dad has one, I've used his. Um, I feel like it's easier to just plug it in in some instances because I, you know, if you have power available, sure, you're gonna wanna go power. But in most instances, from what I've seen, you know, like if I'm out on the job site, I don't, I don't just use this for wood. Use it for metal too. So there's been some situations where doors and stuff kind of catch and don't close, and you'll look and there'll be some rust in the door frame, that kind of thing. Put really, a really um, large grit paper on there, and I'll hit that stuff and, and sand it right off on the door. Hard to, because then you got to pull a cord around. So that's why it's great. To, that's why I went wireless on this one, went, went with the battery operated option. Um, Ryobi also does make the, the plug in option as well. Um, I think it's got a little bit more um i think it's a little bigger but in my opinion this this will do everything i need it to uh, maybe you need something a little different but we'll see just how powerful it is in this video i'm gonna sand on uh some wood so let's get started here so we got three different types here we have the permanent marker this is a milwaukee marker um you know if right we made it i would i would definitely buy that instead <laughs> and then we have ink pen in the middle and then down here at the bottom, we have actually we have, we have pencil. Um, now on the pencil, I push down pretty deep, like I said. So if we can see that, I'm gonna try to sand that out. Of there. Um, and then over here, we just got some stain that's kind of and some different things that's kind of stuck down onto the wood. Uh, this is a food gate, uh, food grade stain um, that I used on the cutting board from the video I, I was talking about earlier. But um, yeah, the the tool itself's got a few features. You know, it's got your your regular bag that pulls about a whole lot of nothing. Um, this more was where most tools don't they don't really do anything you can either use your momentary switch you know so pull the trigger and it'll work um, or you got this little button right here on the side where you can actually pull the trigger and then push this in and it'll keep it on and then you can just not have to hold the trigger um, that would be good in some instances in this instance I'll probably just hold the trigger but we'll go ahead and uh, see how long it takes this stuff off and uh, get started Uh, it, it definitely took the pencil, I, I, can't even, I can't even feel the spot where the pencil was. It was somewhere in here, I don't even feel it. Um, the, shar the Sharpie, or, or the Milwaukee marker, whatever you say, it does still have a little bit of a line there. If I kept sanding on it, it would come out. But as any of you know, whenever you put marker on wood, it really does suck it into that grain. Uh, the pin mark, completely gone. Um, back here, it actually took this stuff this uh, stain off, I think it took off faster than anything else, which kind of surprised me. Um, so yeah, it definitely works good. You can see there's a lot of solid or a lot of shavings all over this thing. That's what these things do. I mean, they produce they produce a lot of fine powder. So whenever, if you ever do use any kind of a sanding instrument like this, I always do suggest that you uh, you put on some sort of a respirator. Uh, I'm not for the fact that I'm trying to talk to you guys, but I don't do this all the time. So this is probably a, yeah, definitely put on a respirator anytime you use a sanding tool like this. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different jobs you can do with this tool. I would say the biggest and the most common use that I've ever found for this specific tool 
is doors. Um, wooden doors in particular. So whenever you have a frame of a door and you frame it in, um, if you frame it in really precise, sometimes it can be a little tight in a few different spots whenever you put on the, put on the, actual, the, the actual frame itself uh, that the door sits in. Sometimes it can be a little tight depending on if you mismeasured or whatnot. So that allows you to really get on the side of that door and remove a lot of that wooden material. Like if you used, for example, if you used an orbital sander to do that, you could do it, but it would take a lot longer because first of all, you're only dealing with this much of an area as opposed to this much of an area. So you're going to sand more area at once, which is going to save you time. Um, it's also going to be a little bit more consistent. You're a lot, you can take it up and down that whole entire spot, and it's a lot easier to be more consistent. So that way you're not removing more wood in some spots than others. So, yeah, I mean, as far as the tool, not Ryobi in particular, but as far as it goes with the belt sander, yeah, you, it's, it's, it's definitely good for that. Um, I've used this tool probably six times. So I'm not going to tell you that my experience with this tool is the end all be all because I, I haven't used it a ton. Um, I've used it a few times and I've used it for a pretty decent amount of time. And it's held up pretty good. It does have the adjustable handle up here. So if you, you like holding it in closer or let's say you want it almost all the way out, you can go all the way out with it. So that's a cool feature. Um, it is brushless. So this is on their brushless line. I don't think, I think the reason no one really made one of these before battery was because brushless motors really wasn't a thing yet. Now that they are, it's more popular. It's really starting to come into play. That you're starting to see a lot more high draining tools running off batteries because that brushless motor is it's tremendous. So um, yeah, that's definitely, a, it's a great tool. If you're looking at purchasing it and you're thinking, is it a heavy duty tool that I'm going to be able to use every day? I, I, I always like to say Ryobi can be as long as you take care of your tool, plus they have a good warranty. Um, well, I mean, good is relative. A, a relative to lifetime warranty? No, it's not a lifetime warranty. It's a three year, um, it's a three year warranty. I'm not 100% sure what that, co what that covers, but if it's, yeah, you know, so just, just take care of your tools. And it's gonna last you, it's gonna, it's gonna do what it's supposed to. You're gonna to go to your job site. You're gonna beat it to hell, or you're gonna use it every single day. Yeah, you're gonna wear it out. It's not designed to, to last that long. From what my understanding is, Ryobi is the only one right now that has uh, a, a wire or a, a battery-operated version of a belt sander. So that's that's really cool. Uh, sometimes I'll chuck it up, and I've done it in another one of my videos. I'll chuck it up inside of my vise and use it as like a stationary sander, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of purposes. I think they're selling for, I'll put the price right here um, on what they're selling for at Home Depot. You can probably get them from Direct, direct Tool. Um, I tend to buy a lot of my stuff from Home Depot just because it's close to me and whenever I need a tool. Normally I'm needing it right away, which is I'm sure most of you guys, but if you're just trying to build your build up your tool collection for things you might need, yeah, definitely check out Direct Tool. It's a good option. Um, yeah, if you guys, I wanted to give a shout out to Edgar. He's here on YouTube. Um, he does Ryobi Thursdays. That's a really cool idea. Um, I, I'm thinking about doing something different, something similar to where I do a video every Thursday or every, not probably not every Thursday, or probably every Wednesday or Tuesday. Those are my better days. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I'm gonna be talking about some different topics I think are gonna be pretty interesting. Maybe not all Ryobi related. So maybe it, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I got some different ideas coming down the chute. Sorry I haven't made as many videos. Like I, I, I keep telling you guys that. I'm trying to get my job squared away. So I appreciate all the support and everything you guys got coming. Almost at 500. Once we hit 500, the banner will be one of your guys's. So I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions about this tool or anything, please holler at me. I'll get back with you. Thanks. See you guys.